Hey guys, welcome back to my Pokemon Emerald Monotype run. Uh, last time uh, we picked up our starter Pokemon for this run, uh, it, it it had been Mudkip. And I just like to clarify, yes, this will be a mono ground Monotype run, but I will be using Mudkip for the beginning parts of the Let's Play since you know he will evolve into a ground type in time. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is called. The Rayolu Claws, um, I've read somewhere that um, you can use um, Pokemon like Rayolu in a Monosteel run for example, seeing as Rayolu turns into Lucario which uh, turns into a Steel type. So that's kind of like the same thing here but Mudkip will turn into a Ground type so I hope no one gets angry over that. Anyway, so we just got our Pokedex and a few Pokeballs. There aren't a few any ground types, I think, for a, quite a bit until maybe... I'm not sure if it's in Petalburg Woods or in the route before or after Rustboro. But um, Ninkada is a ground type Pokemon, I believe. But um, I'd like to explain that um, this would be like the reverse side of the Riolu clause where um, Ninkada even though being a ground type doesn't evolve into a ground type in fact it loses its typing and the ground typing turns into flying so I for me I guess I should be able to use um, Ninkada but not its evolutions all right so I guess we could speed it up a little bit and we could start our journey. So here's our first route and here we find a low tad. I get um I'll just be killing all the Pokemon we see just for the experience, you know. And I hope you guys will forgive me. I mean if it's for these little battles like these or like you know sprints back and forth. I will be using the speed up button just to make it, you know not as boring seeing as I don't really have much to talk about anyway unless there's something interesting going on so if I do miss any locations to the ground type Pokemon please feel free to tell me in the comment section so that I could add more Pokemon to my team you know so take out that Wurmple and he has two Wurmples I don't know why you would ever have two Wurmple Wurmples on a team though you that's a really small kid. Okay, so we have more opponents here. We have a Zigzagoon. Alright. And we're up to level 9. Our stats seem pretty okay. Oh, I haven't even checked what nature um, Kippy here is. Okay, Kippy, you're doing it again. You're missing your tackles again. We talked about this. And alright. Okay, let's check out my Kippy's stats. Docile nature. I'm pretty sure that does nothing, so it's a neutral nature, which is, I don't know, not good, not bad either. But uh, at least it won't. It didn't lower anything important. Let's pick up these berries, cause you know you never know when you're gonna need berries, especially these Petcha ones or you know those that um, heal statuses. And this heals HP, I believe, so it's a not not bad of an addition. Blast Tiana and her Zigzagoon. Stop hitting me with Growl. Okay, um, I don't think Shroomish will have any grass moves as of yet. Yeah, it's just hitting me with Tag. I hope I hope I don't get Effect Sport or anything. Oh, nice, a critical hit, not bad. And we level up again. And we learned Water Gun. I have the tendency to shift my moves around, so hope that doesn't bother you guys. It's just my way of playing. I usually put my stab moves, or the moves I use most in front, such as Water Gun. Oh. And then I arrange it by power, and I leave the last slot for the move I'm gonna replace soonest. So if there's a new move coming up, it's highly likely that the move I'll replace will be at the last slot, so I don't know, just a little bit of maybe tip for you guys if you like working that way too. 
So now we have more worm pools here. And all right, we're at the next city, Petalburg City. I believe this is the the place where your dad is a gym leader as well. Okay, I guess I could speed up these healing sections as well. And let's go take a visit to our dad. Hey dad. Well, if it isn't Nim, so you're all finished moving in. Yeah, dad, I was sitting at the back of a truck. Who's this kid? Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. I thought my dad was a gym leader, not a professor. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. Um, you can- don't you have any friends, Wally? I'll give you a Pokeball too, go for it. Yeah, dad. Me, I, I saved some guy, and I don't even get a wow. And you're just giving this kid a free Pokeball and a free Pokemon. Okay, so I know this is just the game's way of showing you how to catch Pokemon, but we know how to catch Pokemon. And you know, how lucky he is to get a route. Hey, how did he even withdraw the Zigzagoon? He didn't even do it right. Okay, but he gets the routes, a route that doesn't even exist on this route. I know, because I've tried. When I was a kid, I spent like three hours just looking for that route. So I'm pretty sure I made my Torchic at the time like to level 13 just looking for it and getting XP from Puchienas. And from then on, it became a real breeze to, to fight the wild Pokemon. But I don't think there's anything else to do here. Let's check the mark. I wonder what they have here. Maybe I could get some potions or antidotes or something. Pokeball. I'm not really gonna catch anything too soon, so maybe not. But I'd probably get a few potions. Just um, to, it could be handy. We never know. And maybe two antidotes and two paralyzed heals should be enough. Okay, so. Yeah, that's good. I hate that you can't run inside the marts in this game. Alright. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. This is Pokemon Emerald. Um, I remember this guy. I think... Uh, he's a pretty important guy. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who doesn't remember like I just did. Uh, it's quite nostalgic playing the old games like these. Especially since, you know, like I've said in the previous episode, I haven't played these games for quite a long time or at least I haven't finished them in quite a long time are you a trainer oh no you're not a trainer whoa did it just hear me ask that question all right so hey 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 stop okay leaving footprints in the sand is so fun of course it is so it's youngster Billy and his zigzagoon so I'll just hit it with my water gun no problem. Oh, and a C dot. Let's see. I'll just go for a tackle then. But I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, C dots tend to bide. But let me try. As long as it doesn't bide, I shouldn't have a problem. All right, it didn't have bite. Maybe I'm mistaken or something. Anyway, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Yeah, you try running sand in the sand. With just your feet. It's gonna ruin your shoes, boy. And are you a trainer? How about I push you and you'll find out. I fished up a tough looking Pokemon. It shares a magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. Okay, whatever you say, Darian. Yeah, magical. Oh wait, did I just hit it with a water gun? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, definitely tough. It's tough because you haven't cooked it yet. So anyway... Let's move on over to Petalburg Woods. Okay, let's pick up some berries. Oren and Pecha again. Alright. It's pretty useful. I guess I should give one of my Pokemon... Oh wait, I only have one Pokemon, duh. I should give one, my Kippy uh, at least maybe one Pecha Berry. I don't know. Maybe he likes berries. Okay, we have a battle. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Lady Cindy with another Zigzagoon. Does, does anybody around here have anything but Zigzagoons? Damn. 
Alright, so now, let's head on to Petalburg Woods. Alright, first, I'm pretty sure there's a path around here to get an item. And if we find the Ninkata here, I'm guessing I can catch it right now. Alright, so... Aside from the Riolu Claws, I'd also like to talk about... Um, HM Slaves, because there will come a time in the game where I might need um, Pokemon to learn some HMs that um, for in order to progress through the game. I mean, I won't have trouble with anything like Surf or Waterfall with Kippy here, but maybe something like Flash? I don't know. I'm not sure if there are any ground Pokemon that can probably learn it, but my rule of thumb is as long as if it's possible that a Pokemon of the monotype that fits the monotype is able to learn the HM, I don't need to catch an HM slave. Um, I don't know if it'll have that much of an effect on how hard it'll make my games, but then again, if you think if an HM move goes into an important slot on an important Pokemon's team, it will at least hinder his moveset even a little bit. So here's our first opponent in the... Pedalberg Woods. And he has, oh god, three Wurmples. Why do you have four Wurmples? You don't need four Wurmples. God. Some, I'd like it if they had an addition to the game where the in game trainers actually thought of their Pokemon. You know, to, and I know it, it's just the beginning and you need to learn some stuff, but this is just too easy. Alright, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Yeah, a dude looking for mushroom looking things. I wonder why. And here's someone who's threatening him to hand over some stuff. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've gotta help me, please. Huh? Am I protecting him? Hey, I'm just passing through. Alright, I didn't want to get involved, but okay. So here we have a battle against Team Aquagrunt, and oh, you're so threatening with your Poochiena. What am I to do? Oh no, sand attack. Oh wait, no, actually that could be a problem. Kippy, you're notorious for missing your moves. Good. And that's Poochiena down. And if I was gonna threaten another person with a Pokemon, I'd probably bring something like really evil, not a little puppy dog. You've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Hey, you're the one who meddled with me. I was just passing through and this guy was looking for a mushroom and and you challenged me. I didn't challenge you. Well, at least I get a reward of Great Ball. I'm sorry I didn't find your mushroom thingy thing. Can't be wasting time. Yeah, I, I don't really care where you're going, man. I'm just gonna get my badges and win with the ground types. Because I'm um, unique like that. So many Wurmples. I don't need Wurmples. Alright. And I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item here. I remember some of this stuff from my childhood. But not all of them. Yeah, that's right. There's a Pokeball there. And I'm pretty sure this is this guy has an Encada. Oh, a Cascoon. Running out of PP. Let's check. Do you, do you? I'm pretty sure you have the Ninkada. Bugcatcher James. Yep, you're the one with the Ninkada. Seeing as you're a ground type, I'm pretty sure a water gun should be able to waste you. Phone Ninkada fainted. And that's a lot more XP than a bunch of Wurmples, so that's good. Alright, and here we have an Aether. This could be useful in the future. And yeah. So. I'm pretty sure I've recorded for at least 8 minutes by now, so we'll continue the rest of the route in the next episode and maybe we'll run around Rustboro a bit. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and um, if you want to see more of my work, maybe you could hit that little subscribe button and, you could, and I'll keep those videos coming for you. Till then, catch you later!